As soon as the doctor left the room, he looked at me and said, "I am a dead man." A lot of doctors at that time just said, "Sorry, prepare yourself for the end." Lisa was with Patrick when he took his last breath. She was there, holding her beloved's hand. On September 14, 2009, Patrick Swayze was gone. Before we'll tell you the touching love story of Patrick Swayze and Lisa Niemi, how Patrick's widow lives now, and what she was accused of, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Patrick and Lisa did not separate. They worked together in films, danced together in various shows. Swayze and Niemi were considered one of the strongest couples. They were truly happy, but their family life was not easy. The absence of children, jealousy, tasting of fame, the fight against alcoholism, and the final battle with death. She was with him to the end. But even after Patrick's death, Lisa was hit by an avalanche of accusations. They fell in love with each other at a very young age, and they lived together for 34 years until the death of Patrick. Lisa Niemi was 15 when she met 18-year-old Patrick Swayze at his mother's ballet school. The first thing a young man did when he saw a beautiful girl was to pinch her, for which he received a deafening slap. You know, the, our first contact was he reached over and pinched me on the butt and said, "Hey, cutie." <laughs> What、I'm、did like, you、oh, say, brother? Lisa differed from the other students by modesty and diligence. The hint was understood. More hands he did not lose. He could not even imagine that this strict student. Fell in love with him at first sight. He was talented, attractive, charismatic. It was impossible not fall in love with this guy. At that time, no one could have predicted that this guy would become favorite of all girls due to his role in the film Dirty Dancing. The couple did not wait long to legalize their relationship, and four years after meeting. Patrick and Lisa decided to marry. The couple married in 1975, when she was 18 and Swayze was 23. After the wedding, Lisa and Patrick focused on their career. Real success could be achieved only in New York. First, Patrick left. He quickly became one of the leading dancers of Broadway, participated in ballet performances. Including together with the famous Mikhail Parishnikov, Lisa soon joined him, but due to a knee injury and subsequent surgery, Patrick had to leave the ballet. Lisa convinced her husband that he could achieve his dreams beyond dancing. We just have to look for a different approach, and Swayze started going to acting school. When Patrick was asked to appear in Dirty Dancing, he was absolutely spectacular. Needless to say, the film's unprecedented success came as a surprise not only to Swayze but to the entire crew. Thirty-five-year-old Patrick became the object of admiration of many women and was nominated for Golden Globe. That phenomenal success dissed Patrick's head. At the same time, Lisa was worried about the actor's fans. He was just besieging their house, calling him on the phone, waiting in the alleys, just to see a celebrity to touch him. Every day, Lisa returned home with anxiety in her heart. What if her husband succumbs to the temptation? He constantly sees around him a lot of beautiful women who go crazy for him. In response to signs of jealousy, Patrick only smiled at his wife as only he could. 
calmly and affectionately. He was not interested in anyone except Lisa. They were in love with the movie hero. What do they know about the real Patrick Swayze? Lisa knew him as she knew herself, and she got even the slightest change in her husband's mood. He only felt good with her and reminded her of it all the time. Unfortunately, the couple had no children. Patrick very suffered because of it. After two miscarriages, Elisa became depressed and Patrick began drawing his sorrows in alcohol. Soon, Lisa was not up to her own feelings. She realized that she needed to save her husband. She struggled for a long time with the addiction of the actor who was destroying himself. He finally agreed to be treated. Patrick and Lisa accepted that they could never be parents and dedicated their lives to each other. The film The Ghost and Point Break were a resounding success and lifted Patrick to a new peak of fame. Swayze loved risk. Racing cars, parachutes, Arabian horses were on his list of hobbies. One day, after falling off a horse, the actor stopped feeling and controlling his legs. There was a long rehabilitation ahead. All this time, there was a beloved wife. Then he got back into the saddle again. Patrick always spoke about Lisa with great love. My wife is the smartest woman I've ever met, and it was after meeting her that I realized that smart girls are incredibly attractive. Together they managed with the actor's addiction to alcohol. However, another bad habit – smoking – the actor could not overcome. Even when he find out about the terrible diagnosis – oncology. The first symptoms of disease were yellow eyes, said Lisa. He came to me and he said, do my eyes look yellow? He had some digestive problems, pain, that wouldn't go away. But it was mostly the yellow eyes that sent us to the doctor. Patrick's wife remembered. He said, oh, we'll go in next week. But I thought, yellow eyes just doesn't sound normal. We need to go tomorrow. He went to the doctor and the moment he looked at him and saw what was going on, he sent us immediately for a court scan. Then we had a grueling 24 hours to wait while we got the reports back. It was a really tough time. The diagnosis sounded disappointing. Pancreatic cancer. As soon as the doctor left the room, he looked at me and said, I am a dead man. A lot of doctors at that time just said, sorry, prepare yourself for the end. But of course that wasn't that we are going to do. We called ourselves realistic optimists. There's always a miracle, always the person who breaks through. I said, why not you? However, Patrick never stopped believing that he would win the disease until the death he started in the film and refused painkillers. They clouded his mind. Lisa took him by helicopter to the hospital. She had, like Patrick, a pilot's license. They lived together for 34 years. Lisa was with Patrick when he took his last breath in the hospital room. She was there holding her beloved's hand. On September 14, 2009, Patrick Swayze was gone. Fans and colleagues mourned the actor. Whoopi Goldberg, who played with Patrick in the melodrama The Ghost, spoke of him without concealing the shock and tears. It was a great fight with death, said Whoopi. Patrick fought for life like a devil. He never thought of himself as someone who would die. He said, you know, we're all mortal. He treated it in the spirit of until the disease killed me, 
I will do what I have to do. He worked, studied in the series. He was just the one who never gives up. I would like to be the same, to have the same courage. A few years after the actor's death, a scandal broke out in the press. Charlotte Stevens, posing as a childhood friend of Patrick, told that in the last month of his life, the actor was subjected to domestic violence by his wife. They say Lisa took an advantage of his helpless position and weakness. Patrick lost up to 40 kilograms. She systematically beat her husband and kept him away from his family. Lisa Niemi denied these words. A while later, in 2017, the name of Lisa Niemi again sounded negative. It was revealed that Swayze's widow, by then married to a millionaire jeweler, was actioning off all the Patrick's personal effects. This caused great indignation of the actor's family. They called Lisa greedy and unscrupulous, saying that she had not given Patrick's mother even his cowboy boots, which the woman wanted to put on the fireplace next to her husband's boots. Lisa parried. She just wanted to share the memory of her dead husband with his fans. Swayze's widow added that all the money from her husband's personal effects would go to the Cancer Foundation. Cancer may have taken him, but it didn't beat him. And I'm continuing his fight for him, said Lisa. Lisa is sure that Patrick himself would approve of all her actions, including her new marriage. After all, he wanted her to be happy. Lisa Niami says she still feels his presence every day. Just because somebody's gone doesn't end your relationship with them, said Lisa. We pretty much spent all our adult life together. When he passed away, I felt like I was 17 years old all over again and learning how to live again. It was a very difficult transition. It's like losing an, an arm and a leg and having no learn how to walk and function all over again while you're in terrific pain. Lisa Niyami who remarried in 2014, now lives in a horse ranch in Florida. She explained why she married a second time, despite loving her late husband. I can tell you how many widows say, I'm never going to get married again, I'm never selling this house. And you know what? You do it when you're ready and not a moment before. When you've been in successful relationship or marriage, how could you not want that in your life again? When I fell in love with Albert, my new husband, I was talking to one of my other widow friends and I said, I love Albert, but it has nothing to do with my love for Patrick. It doesn't affect that at all. Love doesn't stop just because someone has left this earth. It's still there.